Sani Wenzangu Kit Fest 2024 Hoye First of all forgive me for not being with you in person owing to an unexpected change of date being the face of Kit Fest 2024 is without a doubt a great validation and a great affirmation for me I realize that I have been called upon to be a standard bearer and that in itself is a great honor. I first trod the boards in this theater in 1973 playing Romeo in a pioneering black and white production of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Last year, 50 years later, I was back on the stage as Fagin in Oliver. I was named Best Male Actor in a Musical at the Kit Fest Awards. Two years before that, I had received the Global Impact Award at the inaugural Kit Fest Awards. In the period in between, I had been involved in about 40 plays as a stage actor. 15 films as a screen actor, 10 films as a voice actor, 15 plays as a director, and 6 plays as an original playwright. Sasa Nikweli Mimi Nimze Wakazi. To be the face of Kitfest 2024 will be to be the face of two inherent personal beliefs. One is the belief that creative artists are necessary and eternally useful. The other is that theatre in particular is a powerful instrument to seek out and to expose what gives pleasure and what gives pain in our society from generation to generation. Once again, thank you for the honour. Kit Fest 2024. Hoye! Isamanze. And now, Sasa Hio Kit Fest. Eh? I'm a Kenya International, uh, Kenya International Theatre Festivals 2024. It will make sure in a highlight one of the best plays in 2024. He in it of the dying need no shoes. He play muna yua kama wani mtu ambao umesoma na unelewa na unapenda mambo ya theater. Ni play ambao ya meza kuandikuwa nae uh, Fred Mogo. Sasa sikiza. Niko hapa hivi na siko peke yangu katika sebule. On launch on set with my friends. Daktari Manuel Shukuku na vile vile bila kusahau Anne Kiveli. Karibuni sana. Asante. So sitaki eti oh tupoteza tu, wakati sana niki blow trumpet zenyu na pia yenyewe mko na midomo na <laughs> na mnaweza piga huyu kwanza ana chura mpaka violin. <laughs> Mnahisi aje asubuhi ya leo? Tuko salama. Eh kwa salama. Yes. E, kabisa na una picha mic yako pale ndani. Ile tu fit eh. Eh. Eh ada ada daktari rejani watu wameza hawa hawajazoea mambo ya mic wamezoea yeah. mambo ya stage eh yes. hey, yeah. kupiga na sasa show yenye tunaongelea ni show yenye this is a father this is a daughter yes. Yes. introduce your family daktari uh, my name is uh, professor doctor doctor Jairus Monanda ngoja hapo ndo huwa nakosea <laughs> so from today guys ladies and gentlemen it is professor doctor doctor yeah two doctorates Ni mbili? Ni mbili. Mazina bado una act. Hebu yes. tuendele. <laughs> <laughs> Jina langu katika uh, uo mchezo wa kuigiza uh, The Dying Need No Shoes ni Professor Jairus M. Monanda. Mm. 
uh, ambaye ni profesa amebobea sana katika nyanja za utafiti mm. uh, kwa masuala ya kifo mm. the professor of death mm. the professor who has researched and uh, understands uh, death inside out and mm. part of uh, the play is just that research mm. ndio sasa mtaona utafiti sasa huyu baba professor. Yeah. ni professor na amejipata mahali mm-hmm. amefungiwa mm-hmm. amefungiwa na mtoto mm-hmm. haya eh oh ni kwa room ni kwa room yes, na baba ako 56 years ako 56 years uh, bibi yake uh, mamkewe mm. uh, Esther Munanda mm. ali aliaga aliaga Ele, sasa amebaki na mtoto wake so amekuwa kisurvive yeah. na mtoto <coughs> yeah. ni relation ya mtoto wa kike mm-hmm. mwenye pengine hajazoeana sana na baba mm-hmm. wewe mtoto umenyamaza sana hebu <laughs> tayari <laughs> introduce basi kwa majina ni Anne Kiveli na kwa huu mchezo naitwa Purity mm. Jairus Munanda mm. is my father. Mm. Yes, and just a bit of correction. Mm. Uh, sijamfungia. Uh-huh. Utakuja utaona. Yeah, Bas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so ni kutoka kesho tarehe nane. Yes. Until Sunday. Yes. Ile itakuwa Sunday. Yes. So for those of you wenye hawataki <coughs> kubai advance ticket then you can get your ticket for 2000. But if you need unataka kuchukua ticket saa hizi mm-hmm. usiki 1700 mbona tungoje si ndio mm-hmm. so daktari people know you uh, most of them not because of you being a teacher or a lecturer not in class it's being an artist unajua i think art peke ndo level yenye unajipata na law na lawyers pia unajipata gamko wengi you are your lecturers and you so every day of your work life mm-hmm. is a learning day mm-hmm. so wewe unawafunzaga ukiwa huko mm-hmm. tell us about wewe usanii na na kit fest ma maswali yako ni mawili mm-hmm. nitajaribu kuyajibu moja baada ya nyingine kabisa um, kwa usanii mimi nilianza nikiwa primary school pale mumias in the Ken Fields mm. sugar Ken Fields pale penye ugome anakueleza mm. um, in my primary school i acted as the the lead character in our play you know those days mm. ilikuwa michezo ya majitu mm. you know so i was the guy who goes to the forest uh, to cut the tail of the majitu and mm. bring so that i can heal the society mm. kimwili kifiziki ulikuwa gaje ukiwa mdogo kimtu kikubwa kadogo mimi nilikuwa tu mwembamba kama wewe na mrefu wala yeah so yeah. alikuwa anakuta <laughs> daudi wewe unaingia kule unapiza yeah. majitu so that was the uh, 1989 1989 yeah, so kama 1989 <clears throat> yeah. ulikuwa na kamwili kadogo mm. eh na sasa yuko na mwili kubwa kama nataka kupata mwili kubwa tunapiga miaka <laughs> <laughs> um in fact uh, my lecturer zapa kenyatta university wale wanifunza mimi uh, undergraduate mm. they are shocked that i could grow big mm. they honestly they are shocked if you ask uh, somebody like professor mugubi so shocked because i used Mugodi to so tall yeah. yeah we uli, ulipitia kwa hiyo mikono yes yes, yes uh, professor mugubi <laughs> taught me uh, first year mm. third year and fourth year <laughs> alikuwa mwalimu wangu wa literature na sasa hizi mnakuza vizazi pamoja pamoja sasa hiyo hiyo ndio hiyo ndio kitu napenda hiyo ndio kitu napenda yeah, that's life is mm. um so that's the time nilianza um, acting mm. uh, that's when i realized i have this uh, talent of acting so we did it that i was in thinking class 6 then uh, class 7 then class 8 uh, since i wasn't very sharp uh, my dad accounted and repeat class 8 so i repeated again class 8 and i still took the main role Wait. I, yeah. So umamaliza class 8. Mm-hmm. Ukarudia. Yes. Na bado ulikuwa unacheza michezo. Yes. Kwa nini kuna mtu ambaye yako kwa fan ya usanii mwenye afisha hapo? <laughs> you know how hard it is kushika line and bwana. Eh? And yeah. Atakueleza. <laughs> yeah, so um then uh, at the uh, secondary school nilikazia nikaambiwa no 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 way concentrate kwa masomo. Mm. Uh, well it worked so mm. I came to KU. Mm. But what made me really want to join theater in KU mm. was when I was in form 4 Dr. Amateshe mm. if you know him the the, the him, man. gentleman mm. uh, came yes he mm. came to perform for us the set box 
those days kulikuwa na Kenyatta University Traveling Theater. Mm. So jamaa amefika pale Botere Girls Bar. Na shule around hapo tumeitwa tumeenda pale. Mm. I saw the guy play uh, the, the play na itwa government inspector. Mm-hmm. Jama ali change from uh, from the role of Lester Kov mm. akaingia mayor kwa sababu mayor wao aligonjeka mm. kwa stage. Mm. M- Amateshe ali change from Lester Kov to the mayor. Mm. Hivi. And we were wondering ni yeye ama si yeye? Ni yeye ama si yeye? Abana I fell in love with KUTT there and then. Wait. So, Ato ato mmenishangaza. So <coughs> KUTT kuna wakati ilikuwa ni traveling theater. Yes, yes. Yes, KTT has always been a traveling theater. Mimi nilipata nyinyi mkifika, nyinyi yeah. mkifika kidogo ilikuwa ya fifia, yeah. but uh, KUTT hata from the name yeah. so Kenyatta University Traveling yeah. Theater. Yeah. So that is when I came to KU in 1999, mm. nikaingia straight. Straight. Straight Kenyatta University Traveling Theater. Daktari <laughs> keep telling people I emulate, I emulate you too. Yeah. Niliingia KU 2016. Yes. Ili kuja straight yes. umeingia kwa theater. Street. Hiyo ndio time ulinichukua kaniambia like the drama nights nilikuwa furesha. Harambol. <laughs> Na kumbuka nikukupa mic hey. lakini sikumbuki hey. ulikuwa wa first year second year third year. Hiyo dai ndio siko hiyo because the first sababu nilisikia sauti yako nikasema huyu aweza tusaidia. Kevin. Yes. Baba yako oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Salamu. <laughs> Professor Dr. Dr. Mhm. Emmanuel Shikoku. Yes umesikia kwenye alianza mhm umetoka wapi yani <laughs> well uh, upande wa stage mm. nimependa stage kutoka nikiwa mdogo mm. but upande wa theater mm. niliingia 2020 2020 yes mm. yani 2020 watu wanakazana huku nje na corona wanachifungia <laughs> kwa nyumba kuna mwingine ndo ana anajiri event <laughs> Uh-huh. Nilikuwa nimeingia at KU 2020 January mm. ndio COVID ingia around February kisha. Mm. Yes, so that's when I was now venturing into acting. Mm. But sana sana after COVID dilitulia, that's when tulirudi shule. Mm. And I came to find out that my classmates wanatengeneza scripts za project, mm. wananiweka kama the lead actress. So I'm like, you guys don't know if I can act. Mm. So what were you class. doing your time before 2020? Um, a hotelier by profession. Mm. I did hotel management in Kenya Utali College for three years. Yes, then I ventured into the hospitality industry. Mm. Then abado in 2020 is when I started baking. Mm. So whatever I took from Utali, I think nilipenda sana pastry. Mm. So time ya COVID, mm. I was trying, you know, some pastries mm. here and there mm. and then I got to realize that I could bake and that's how I started my company in baking. Sasa kuna wengine wana bake scripts. Anamweka pale anamwambia you know what yes. you can do this <laughs> yeah so you got nominated uh, last year mm-hmm. for the KTA Kenya Theatre Awards yes o nini ulikuwa umefanya then i was uh, acting as prophetess sangoi uh, an old woman in uh, our final project play mm. and yeah i was also the stage manager mm. that is in March January to March last mm, year mm. and nikimalizia my fourth year mm. project. Daktari, yeah, no. how do you feel working with your talents, working with people you've seen grow in the industry, sharing such an, an intimate platform kama hii uh, kumchukua akuwe mtoto wako na muweze kuongelesha dunia nzima? Um, <coughs> first Of course there is always that tension between mm. a lecturer you know your stu- your student and your lecturer you are sharing the stage mm. with the, with them you know it, it, uh, many people will, will will look down upon that you know mm. there should be that uh, lecturer student professional distance mm. Mm. um and there used to be that i used to have that fear mm. of uh, no these are my students and i'm their lecturer we can't share uh, the same stage we can't get that intimate mm. Um, until I talk to my lecturer also David Mulwa mm. uh, mwalimu, how comes you used to find it so easy to share the stage with us and now I am finding it difficult you remember mm. uh, 2022 nimefanya play the Ireland 
na mwenye nilikuwa nafanya na yeye mm. the guy we actually were on stage we mm. strip actually together on mm. that stage mm. tunavaa matiti tunafanya nini mm. together is my student zile zile so, za cross dressing yes yes eh, yes eh, nacheza so. mimi na leo <laughs> <laughs> so nikauliza mwalimu wangu nikaenda nikamvisit pale nyumbani kwake Ruai nikamuuliza mwalimu how how comes when we were doing our plays with you mm. Aminata um um uh, Marchant of Venice mm. You used to be so free with us. Mm. How comes I, I have this fear in mm. me? Can you me here? Listen. When you step on that stage, whoever is on that stage is a professional. Is a professional. not your student. So get that idea, you know how Mulo talks. Mm. Get that idea yeah. out of your mind. Yeah. I can realize kwamba when you step on that stage, mm. you are not a lecturer. Mm you are a professional actor mm. communicating to the audience mm. and this is your partner in that communication mm. so look at that person as a professional you are doing something that advances communication that advances people knowing about the issues that the writer wants to put mm. across so now when i stepped on that stage with the sam adino i did not look at him as my student mm-hmm. i looked at him as a fellow professional actor who we are working together in that venture and it's the same thing with now and uh when i step on that stage i'm not seeing my student mm. i'm seeing a professional who we are working together to pass across the message that uh, fred mbogo wants to pass to the audience every writer has a message he wants to pass mm. yeah so vile wewe ni star on that set everyone is a star yeah so mnakuwa mko na kazi moja yeah ya kuangaza nuru yes pamoja sio ni mkubwa wako hapana 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 yeah. in fact oh mimi ni mwalimu wako no, no. in fact at that point yeah eh, kama sio ala koka na direct yeah where you are just an actor we are actors so yes. it comes even with the humility yes yeah good yeah kit fest nilikuwa nimeuliza your, your relationship with kit fest nataka uingize hapo hivyo ukituambia kuhusu the dying need no shoes ndio niingie kwa an okay kit first mimi eh, in a way naweza sema ni mmoja wa waanzilishi mm-hmm. in a way mm-hmm. uh, of course the idea is not mine it was uh, kevin kimanis lakini alishare mm-hmm. kwa sababu at that time pia nilikuwa mwalimu wake nilikuwa na msupervise his masters mm-hmm alishare na mimi nikamweleza this is good e, tu uh, akaniambia chenye anataka nimsaidie tukamsaidia tu, alitaka nimsaidie katika um, organize conference mm. ya art ya theater mm. so mimi nilikuwa na namsaidia na, na hapo mm. but nime nime nimefanya uh, nimekuwa nikishughulika na kit fest all the years mm. literally this i don't think there's anyone in oh, this yeah. country yeah. who has been uh, involved in kit fest all the years okay, 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 okay. cuz in uh, 2017 tulifanya play the successor na wanafunzi wangu mm. i directed them 2018 sikumbuki tulifanya i think redemption mm. yeah 2019 sikumbuki 20 2021 2020 unajua tuliruka mm. 2021 tukafanya hata sikumbuki 2022 tumefanya the island mm. 2023 tumefanya the absurd 2024 tunafanya the dying need no shoes the dying need yes no yeah. shoes kiveli yes. the dying need no shoes kwako wewe mm-hmm. eh imekuwaje ku work tuseme kwanza na director alekok na vile vile playwright fred um imekuwa interesting mm-hmm. in a, a way that it's a new experience mm-hmm. yes cause ukiangalia his way of directing mm. i can say i have never experienced such before mm. yeah ni director open minded sana mm. and a uh, party actor opportunity mm. like let you uh, do what you think mm. umelewa from the play and then he'll get to direct very tiny bits mm. like he he twists pat ndogo ndogo mm. and inafikia mahali nasikia kumwambia who can he direct the part mm. but he's like you're doing good yeah. i want you to stick to that mm. like anafanya mtu anajiamini mm. ana lighten your spark yes mm. you feel like you you know you're part of directing mm. like sa zingine you're just confirming and he's like you know just pushing you to be you mm. to do it in your own style mm. like see i have seen other directors who really i can't say impeach mm. but they want you to do how they want it done mm. 
but with Alakok I have come to realize that he's open minded mm. and he's so artistic to an extent um his way of directing is so unique mm. yes so it imekuwa such a great experience for me mm. yes ayone kazi safi sana so a lot of people wameona kazi za Alakok mm-hmm. the dying need no shoes kuna wengi wanauliza what is it about why I, why don't they need shoes <laughs> unajua kwa machango ya kwa mchango ya mazishi <laughs> kuna una stiaga kiatu ya <laughs> kuna marehemu. kuna kiatu ya marehemu <laughs> kiatu ya marehemu ni 100k kuna kiatu ya mwenda zake <laughs> kiatu ya mwenda zake mwenye maybe hata hakuwai vaa kiatu kama ule jenzi goliath <laughs> utasikia pesa kidogo ni 50k na tunafa tuchange <laughs> Why don't they dying need no shoes mommy? And, and that is for you to come and know uh, from their show. Hadu wewe mwenyewe uje uone mchezo. Sawa. Yeah. Tufanye hivi basi. The dying need no shoes. Tunataka hata wewe ukuje ujiulize kwa nini ama uone kwa nini. Ticket nimesema ni shilingi 2000. Sasa lakini kama we ni mtu ambaye anaamini in mapema ndio best then mm. kuna tiketi yako ya 1700 you don't eh, need to use the 200 to the 2000 now eh, kwa, kwa hayo maneno mm-hmm. eh, tunaweza nongoneza kidogo uh-huh. tumesongesha chini sana bei ya mwanafunzi mwanafunzi kuna ya 500 na hiyo ni wale wanatusikiza. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. Wanafunzi. But they, it, it akiwa na mm. ile students, uh, students kitambulisho cha wanafunzi mm. atalipa 500. Sisi tutamuingiza pale. No. Manze, yeah. unajua pia kitu tunaenjoy zaidi ni ati our biggest audience yeah. ni vijana. Yeah. 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 Our biggest audience yeah. ni watu wanapenda art. Mm. Mm. Unapata garden <coughs> set zetu zimeja wasanii, mm. wasanii kuwa pal sasa ni uenda Kenya Cultural Center no. na hawa wote wako na moto wa kuattend show za wengine mm. ndio tu waongeze yeah. e, wa sharpness yeah. waongeze sharpness mm. na pengine wengine wao wangesema eh manzi 17 yeah, yeah, kidogo, so yeah. kama wewe ni kijana yeah. Yeah. unajua tuko kwa taifa yenye unaweza sikia mpaka leo wanko fulani ameamka na amepewa kazi ya ku represent vijana mm. so wewe kama ni student si uko na school id Mm-hmm. It's only 500 for yeah, you. No queue list we can cheat can die some of you are not to amari. So <laughs> So yeah. What is the take home message uh, the dying need no shoes basi kwa mtazamaji? Um kabla tuenda hapo mm-hmm. ni ruhusu tuniseme mambo mawili. Okay. La kwanza mm-hmm. the dying need no shoes 2022 Claire Wahome akicheza purity. Mm-hmm alikuwa declared the best actress in the country. Wow. Uh, Fred Mboga akakuwa declared the best writer mm. in the country. Mm. Kwa sababu uh, kwa hivyo this is a serious production. Mm. Tungependa watu wakuja waone, tujumuike. Unajua theater ni is a social mm. is a social uh, thing. It mm. brings people together. It, it builds a community. Mm. Tungependa watu wajumuike na sisi wakuja waone mm. uh, uh, mambo ambayo Fred Mbogo anataka kueleza mm. uh, wanajamii na sisi uh, as the actors mm. as a team of uh, directed by Fred Mbogo mm. uh, staged managed by Efi Wanjiru uh, acted by uh, uh, Anna and I mm. tunataka tujenge hii jamii ambayo inaelewa maneno ambayo Fred anataka kueleza mm. katika huo mchezo yes the day need no shoes mm-hmm. lakini angalia shoes zako nikiona venye ni kiatu smart na shanga <laughs> you know kiatu kingine unaenda kujaza ni kipi that in 2022 you already yeah. paid the buy is said yes. hakuna kulewa zaidi yeah. hakuna huo one for the road yeah. no the buy is said mm-hmm. how does that make you feel and maswali mawili how did you feel time yenyewe ulipatana na hii script ukaambiwa manze and it's you the first thought um it was mind blowing because number one, mm. this is a two handers play mm. like two people on stage for more than an hour mm. yo i was like okay i have seen other people do it people get to see you as such a big person mm. if you step on a stage mm. uh, you know just the two of you it's something brilliant mm. so for me nilikuwa like wow 
I didn't know I'd get here one day. Mm. I didn't know someone would believe in me that much. Mm. You know, to trust me with their stage for a whole hour plus. Mm. I w- I didn't think I'll, you know, but I I never thought about it that I'll ever be on stage with my lecturer one day. Mm. Like there it- was so much in my head mm. in Kanambia to Mungu. I didn't see it come. But I'm grateful. You are here. Yes. <laughs> Doctor. Yes. That smile is genuine. I am happy. Here. I'm, I'm happy to chat. Nini ingine ko Kit Fest 2024 apart from the dying need no shoes the play. Kit Fest 2024 I I don't think there is a, any festival in this Africa. Mm that can match Kit Fest 2024 mm. because you if you look at the the number of countries that are coming to perform mm. the number of performances that have been lined up i was talking to one of the uh, the communications director our, our uh, communications officer our, our, our Kit Fest they say they, they don't have space mm. two weeks now what to bado on attack to perform mm. there are so many performances mm. south africa us egypt uh, Sweden, uh, Switzerland, the audio play, and different genres of mm. theater, by the way. Kuna audio play, kuna stage performance, kuna dance. There's a lot for Kit Fest 2024. I have never seen anything, and I don't think there is. Mm. Uh, and even in this country, there's no festival, mm. whether it's film festival or whatever, that is so diverse, that brings together so many people mm. than Kit Fest 2024. Mm. I can tell you. Uh, if we when msani ama unge penda kujihusisha na wasani mm. kit fest 2024 is a, is the place to be and most of those shows just go for 1000 mm. most of those shows daily literally daily. from from kesho. 2 mm. uh inanza uh, november uh 20 november 5th i think to 17th mm. uh, all those days kutakuwa na a performance mm. at not just one mm more than four performances mm. and uh, students are invited uh, uh, just general public is invited mm. um, uh, I, I'm, I'm meant to understand uh, uh, the minister will be opening i mean there's just a lot there's theater in the wild mm. Do you, can you imagine where we now na na simba mle ndani you go there yeah theater by the fireside mm. a lot of programs that are really at the street theater, mm. you know, on, on Nairobi yeah, Street last yeah. year, it was so good mm. uh, walking around uh, uh, with this gentleman performing on the street mm. about Nairobi. Mm. I am telling you, it's just awesome. Maze. Yeah. Real, real, real yeah. set. Yeah. Real everything. Yeah. Real audience. Yes. So between 8th and 13th, mm-hmm. ni the dying need no shoes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Separate between your event here. Uh, 8th to 13th October. Yeah, October. Na, na, yeah, November. November. Eh. Um, our producer, producer wa umchezo wa kuigiza, The Dying Need No Shoes, is uh, the office now of Kenya International Theatre Festival. Mm. Kenya Interna- the, That office, uh, which is the producer, mm. is the one that runs the Kit Fest now, the festival itself. Mm. I hope I've made it clear. Um, so our executive producer, I'm a to test the waters, mm. what we call mm. pre- Na anatest na nani? Na huumchezo wigiza, mm. yes. So sisi ni kama four runners. Great. So ikienda salama, mm. then sasa kit fest uh, 2024, mm. iko nini? Iko shwari. Kuna kinataa kuuliza kuhusu ambassador wa kit fest uh, 2024, but wena taa ni kuulize future yako kwa kit fest and uh, theater industry iko aji, unajiona wapi in the next uh, five years, ama next five seasons za uh, kit fest? Um, I'm seeing myself traveling the world and, you know, showcasing my art mm. in different platforms mm. internationally. Mm. Yes. Kabisa. I love that. So the ambassador wa 2024 Kid Fest ni Daddy Mato. Ah, So, mna iskuma. So, kila mtu mwenye ata have the experience between 8th and 13th. Akirejia tena November, atapata same experience. Meaning, a project Hairan he wiki peke. No, no, no. The dying need no shoes mm. will be played again in Kit Fest ah, yeah. proper now. Uh, it's one of the anchor performances of uh, Kit Fest. The more yeah. Yeah. the merrier. The more the merrier. Sasa yeah. ndonata yeah. tumalizie. Yeah. Na before tumalizie, uwa tunasema muenda tenzi na omo marejio ni ngamani. Sasa tunarejia ngamani yeah. na ngamani tunarejia na kipenge ama segment that we call lines za kikwetu.
Laisa kikwetu nitaanza na wewe sasa so that by the time narudi kwa jenzi jenzi ashagadha award or two za ngamani kwao you supposed to go back home kule ngamani kuja na wisdom one line one translation msemo line moja vitu kama hivyo kwa wajua mimi mluya mluya muwanga kule kwetu tunasema imbwa ilonda umsoko nyolo kwa nyina hey one more time hold on imbwa ilonda umsoko nyolo kwa nyina imbwa yeah ilonda umsoko nyolo umsoko nyolo kwa nyina kwa nyina yes kabisa a puppy follows the way its mother squats a puppy follows the way its mother squats kuna mimi niliona mbwa anatembea design ya mtu ako na ule mkojo wa ufipo mazee yeye ni yeye ni PWD lakini ile dogi inafuata hizo so kwa sababu puppy amezoea kwa macho anaona vile ambavyo huyu anafanya na yeye anafanya explain kidogo tu um an ni mwanafunzi wangu mimi ni mwalimu wake tunaelezana vile nafanya yeye yofuata mariamu ni mwanafunzi wangu mimi mwalimu wake vile na namweleza ndivyo anafuata kabisa hiyo sasa ndio maana yake translation irudie yenyewe imbwa ilonda umsoko nyolo kwa nyina kabisa anki veli yes mwenda tezi na mama hanaga baadi karejea gamani tuko kwako we eh ndio na salimiana ah sasa Okay, kwa hivi. Mm-hmm. In your line of work, lazima kuna mahali uliguzana na line ya lugha ya kwenu. In your line of growth, lazima kuna mahali ulisikia ya nini ya kwenu. This is to ensure that we maintain our traditions, our cultures. Fanya aje kama unataka kusema kitu yenye husu hiyo, wa invite kwa show yako na lugha yako. There you go. <laughs> you got a square. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <Chani> jaribu. Tele <laughs> gazi. Ando mamu semu ya seo. <laughs> um ningo mweta muke muone kila tumuye <laughs> kila twende na kumumba nisia muke mwiwe nisa. <laughs> kabisa so na waalika jamii yote ya kikamba popote mlipo mna wa Kenya wote mwahikisha kwamba anawaalika pale hivyo Kenya National Theater Cheche Gallery kutoka kesho tarehe nane hadi tarehe 13 mwoch show yake a play by Fred Mbogo ambayo inakwenda kwa jina The Dying Need No Shoes amaisema kwa kikamba no shoes kabisa tunaelekea tunaelekea katika kipindi kifupi cha mapumziko as naambia wenzangu hapa hivi kwa heri nataka mseme kwa heri kabisa na shout out alafu twende kaa tumeenda nyumbani ndiko pia sasa na generation ambayo inatoka sasa kwa yako generation alpha yule mtu yeye hope she's watching your show ndio nataka sasa na yeye akuwa kisema mali kiveli yako nataka kupita always haruhusiwi yeah. haruhusi ku watch wa mchezo it's 18 plus, 18 plus. yeah yeah oh my goodness yeah mchezo <laughs> tutatafuta mchezo mwingine ambao tunaweza muin angalie ile design huyu yeah. anajituma yeah. uh, ajitume zaidi sawa kwa kwa daktari shout out tukimalizia neno la mwisho ah uh, tuna tungependa kwa invite uh, nyinyi wote uh, mkuje muoche wa, wa mchezo wa kuigiza so play with a difference so play that uh, we are experimenting on so many things at so many levels acting level directing level uh, how to find that intimacy between the audience and the actor because sasa for, for us kwa mtu kama mimi Eh, singependa tu kufanya mchezo for the sake of entertainment ningependa kufanya mchezo as a research project as a, because I'm also a, a researcher with the university uh, but also as a way in which I can find new forms of informing our audience how uh, theater functions how theater uh, is important because as, as you know mtoto um, wa Mariamu um, theater 
uh, theater is in CBC in, in the senior school they'll be uh, taking CBC I was part of the team that I uh, crafted that curriculum with KCD so we are looking at ways in which we can make theater functional to to the country uh, and serve the interests uh, of the nation kwa hivyo tunawa alika this is an experiment that you don't want to miss welcome kabisa an Okay, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to specific people, my family, my close friends, and the deepest people back in Kenya Tally College who believed in me and, you know, nurtured the drama in me to becoming an actor. Washington Odor, thank you so much. Yeah, karibu di show. Kabisa. Yes. Alikuwa na drama mpaka kitchen. And <laughs> Tunaingia yeah. kipindi kiproof pe cha mapumziko KUTV Rise to the continues this is art and culture monday tutakuwa tunarejea hapa hivi na 8 year old tamara ameongeza miaka tutakwambia huyu ni mtoto wa mama ntilie kama wewe ni mtu ambaye huwa na enjoy indomi huyu ni mtoto wake now this lady is a multi talented personality in this country tutakuwa nakukwambia mengi zaidi huyu ata huyu venye amekujengea set Ah watakujengea na utafrightena zaidi. But before that, acha niambie wanzaangu kwa heri. 